Yeah, you're, you're putting it no, in no, the no, no, listen, it's, it's, I, I think, Mike, Tee, Tee, hey, Mark, football, football, Mark, football, Mark, football, you want, you're on a line, Mark. You're not there to be his bodyguard, okay? Not, not, the Mike, bottom line is, bodyguard. the bottom line is, let's be honest here. Tiki was a star football player yeah. who has not been a successful broadcaster. Okay. So, All right, okay. now he's coming back to football. The only thing okay. I asked him was, don't know the context. If I had a conversation, if Tiki had a conversation with an NFL head coach or NFL head coaches who said, hey, you want to try this thing? I mean, Mike, I sat in, in October of 2007 with John Gruden and, and Bruce Allen and sat and, and met with them about Tiki coming out of retirement as far back as October of 07. And, and it wasn't the only conversation that we've had over the last four years talking about it. So if he decides to come back and play football again, what, what difference does it make why he's doing it? Oh, it if makes so- a difference. It doesn't but make why? a big difference because well, right now, Tiki, that whole piece, the idea is that Tiki's life isn't fulfilling right now right? and he needs a success Absolutely. again. By his own words, he needs yes, a success he again. He acknowledged that there were failures over the So what I asked him, well, that's fine. Now he was saying that there were no failures. Well, he, I mean, let's but, be honest. There were no, no, broadcasting no, 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 mistakes. No, no, no. There's, there's failures. That, uh, things that didn't work out as as had been hoped on 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 a, on a variety of fronts, but t- today it's more about are you going to back to play football and does he think he's going to be successful at it? And and and, and I, as I've said, and, and Tiki, you can jump in. He doesn't plan on being a third down back. He plans on being a significant contributor. Well, let me let me let me talk well, to, let, let me talk know, to let him me, about let that. But let's let but let's let do this. this and, go ahead, t- go ahead, Tiki. With you, Mike. Yeah, Mike. go ahead. I understand what you're saying. You're not wrong, but you're also not right. Because to characterize what three years that I had at NBC is abject failure is just wrong. It's just not. It's just not correct. The media landscape changed, uh, and, it, and it became unfulfilling. I think both for myself and for NBC. Yeah, we decided. We de- we decided to part ways, and we go on with whatever they're doing, and I'm going on with whatever I'm doing. I didn't decide to uh, play football in, in April of, of 2010 because I got, to use your words, quote, fired from the Today Show. Okay. I had so many other things going on in my life, personally and professionally, that, that I needed to sort out. Eventually, okay. after covering football with Yahoo and, and being around my brother and reconnecting with things that I haven't connected with in a lot of years... I realized I needed something to get out of bed and look forward to. And something that did I've you, always done really well is play the game of football. Did you have a, a lucrative later, Mike, broad do you did you have a lucrative broadcasting option available to you right now? I didn't I didn't have look. I don't know, Michael. It's not it's not it's not what I'm focused on right now. Uh, okay. could I go beat the pavement and try to get something in broadcasting? Yeah. But it's I don't I don't know what I want to do in broadcasting. You know, I grew up, you, you, were, you were right, I grew up differently. I, I grew up reading uh, broadcasting news on WCBS. I, went, I grew up doing Fox News, where it's not necessarily network morning television. It's, it's interjecting your opinion, having a knowledge about something uh, political or business-wise, etc., and having an opinion about it. Uh, and, and I was very good at that. Sitting down on the Today Show, reading the prompter, presenting the stories, it's a different animal that, yes, I wasn't qualified for. But did I do some good things there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Did it not work out? Yeah, absolutely. But I wouldn't say it was a failure. And I think that's unfair for you. No, I don't think so. I think I'm being fair. I think I'm being I I disagree. Mike, okay, we, you're we, allowed we can, to, listen, you're allowed to, to disagree. disagree. Yeah, we can disagree, but it's I think, still my Mike, opinion. I think what he's, okay. he's proud of things that he did do there. It didn't work out as all well had hoped. That's all. It did, you know, did you think he made a mistake? Mark? I'll ask you a question, Mark. you think he made a mistake by going to NBC? Mike, I would tell you, not, not dissimilar to what I said. Um, I, 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 NBC is a wonderful uh, network. Um, I think that Tiki had a relationship, if, you know, and it's not something I haven't said to Tiki directly, that he had a relationship at Fox News Channel, and he had an opportunity to stay there. And in hindsight, um, and not dissimilar to me as his agent back in 2006, uh, saying maybe sometimes you stay right where you're most comfortable. Um, yeah, I think that it, okay. it had nothing to do with NBC at all. I want to be crystal clear. It had nothing to do with NBC. I just felt that at the time, and, this, and Tiki knows I've said this to him, uh, that he was best off staying right where he was because it was a level of comfortability with the other talent, and it was a level of comfortability with 
with management. And, that, and, and if he left and had gone to ESPN and ABC News or if he had gone to CBS, it didn't matter, or CNN for that matter. You have to get indoctrinated to a new place. And, Mike, as you know, when you're Tiki Barber scoring touchdowns on Sunday afternoon and you're the guy who stroll, you know, kind of comes in and works on Tuesdays on your off day and you're a bit of an anomaly to the other town, there's no threat. When you go, now you are in their backyard or in the lion's den with other town and, and you're now part of the team, you have to, you know, it, the dynamic of relationships will change. But, yes, I thought at the time that because he had a relationship at Fox News with Roger Ailes and, and Bill Shine and other people there, that that was the best place to be. We're talking with Tiki Barber and his agent, Mark Lepso. The Tiki, um, the idea, uh, the whole part of this is here's a player, a great player, who le- quits too early, goes into a business, will agree to say it just didn't work out, okay, mm-hmm. in your words. And now I need, you said last night, I need the game. I want to, I need a success. I need to get out of bed. I need a reason to get out of bed, which is all. Very important. I agree. Does it bother you? Do you retrace your steps when you realize here's a sense, a terrific player, a wonderful player, and a very delightful, outgoing personality who has been booed out of his own stadium, who is not popular as an ex-giant? Does that bother you that that is the persona you have now in New York City? Is well, that something? Was that does that hurt that you have that that right now? Well, here's the thing, Mike. You know, I grew up in Virginia, where people are cordial about everything that they do. I came and lived in New York for 10 years, played New York for 10 years, and realized that every single person here has an opinion, right? I can't change people's opinions about me based on, honestly, I don't even know what. And so, does it hurt me? Yeah, it does, because I think in some ways people are not appreciating who I was as a player. But does it hurt me that they have an opinion that's negative against me? Not necessarily, because they're, they're all entitled to it. Just like I'm entitled to my own opinions about you or, or, or Joe Schmo down the street or, well, or why Sally, do you think, whatever why do you it is. Think, take, why do you think you get booed at Giant Stadium? You know, it probably it's a lot of things. I'm, I'm sure it probably has to do with the fact that that uh, I criticize Tom Coughlin and he goes and wins a Super Bowl, or uh, the the the, the uh, conversations that I had about uh, Eli Manning got blown out of proportion. Uh, things like that that people felt like I, as someone with knowledge, was attacking somebody that I just left. When it really wasn't. It was just giving my opinion about things. And I've always been opinionated. You've known that, Mike. Um, if you ask me a question, I'm going to tell you the answer the, the most honest way that I can. I'm not going to dance around the bush. Uh, does that get me in trouble sometimes? Yeah, but it's just who I am. We're talking with Tiki Barber and Mark Lepselter. I'm not going to ask you anything about your girlfriend or your wife. That's your business, and I don't believe in bringing those people into my program, so I won't. But if I remember right, you pretty much had the same background growing up I did. You didn't grow up with a father, right? No, my dad left when I was very, right. very young. Well, so did mine. So we, I, I think we discussed that once, and we had the same yeah. background. Yeah. The thing I took last night that I never heard you mention, I never heard you talk about your kids in the piece last night. What's your relationship like with your kids? Hey, Mike, Mike, fair, Mike let me say one thing. In fairness to Tiki, it wasn't that he didn't Mark, talk about Mark, I didn't ask kids. you the question. I please let him answer the question, you please. You, you, we spent hours I, I just hours asked him a question. I just, minutes, so I'm just, if Mark, I just asked him. I just, I just said he never mentioned his kids. I just asked him a question about his Okay. Kids, that's all. I mentioned my kids a lot. Obviously, it didn't make the piece. Okay. Uh, and I have a very good relationship with my boys. They're actually here uh, oh, spending the week with me, uh, the first week of summer before they go off to camp. And we're having a good time. You know, it's, it's, I, I have an unfortunate um, uh, personal situation that, I, unfortunately, a lot of people go through. Uh, and you try to deal with it the best you can. And unfortunately, uh, being in New York, uh, something that was very personal to me and my family got got plastered on the front page of newspapers uh, for weeks. Uh, and you know, it's 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 unfair in a lot of ways, but it's not something I can complain about. Obviously, my success uh, got me a lot of of, of notoriety as a, as an athlete, uh, and and you get held to a standard sometimes. And I don't know if it's it's, it's fully attainable, not just for athletes, but for anyone. Um, and and when you when you fall or make missteps, it gets exploited. But are your kids doing well? They're doing very well. You know, uh, anyone who's been through. Uh, divorce or 
or, or, or type of personal situations that, I, that I'm going through, realize, you, you know, the kids, they struggle.